What's up creatives, Seb here. Today I'm gonna to be giving you the best tips to make Premiere Pro run smoother, making sure your Premiere Pro is fully optimized with the basic and advanced settings so you can have the best performance possible when you're editing. And I'm also gonna be giving you a quick little hack so whenever you press play on your timeline, you're always gonna have the smoothest playback possible. So just before we get started, if you are new here, welcome, my name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing, and photography. I'm all about posting high quality short film content. So if that does sound interesting to you, then do consider subscribing. But now that I've gone all of that out of the way, let's continue with the video and head over to the editing desk. All right, everyone, so welcome to the editing desk. Let's get on with the video. Start off by opening up Premiere Pro. First, I'm gonna show you all of the essential settings you need to change in Premiere Pro. Then if you are using a Windows computer, I'm gonna show you some advanced graphic settings you need to change. And then after that, I'm then gonna show you some awesome little Premiere Pro hacks just to make sure that your timeline is playing back very smoothly whenever you press play. So as soon as you've opened up your Premiere Pro timeline, go straight to the edit section, go to preferences and then open up the general tab. This will then open up all of your Premiere Pro preferences. Right after that, you then want to go straight to your audio hardware and make sure you set your latency to 50. I think by default it's set to 200. So make sure it's set to 50. Next, we're gonna go over to the media tab right here and you wanna make sure that you disable proxies and then you also disable automatically refresh growing files. And if you haven't got any of these ticked that I have ticked, then just go ahead and tick them because that's what I use. Once you've done that, head over to media cache. Now your media cache is a very important, but it's very overlooked. You wanna make sure you change your saved media cache location to a hard drive that you purely use for storing footage and old files. You don't wanna make it your editing drive, you wanna change it to to a hard drive that you barely use. Once you've done that, you can also remove media cache files. This will dramatically speed up your Premiere Pro because it frees up a lot of space. And then you also wanna set automatically delete cache files older than 15 days. Basically cache files are just pre-renders, audio files and all that sort of stuff. All the irrelevant stuff you don't really, really wanna use. Once you've done that, you can head over to memory. Make sure you set your optimized render for performance and not memory because by default it's set to memory. And then you can then dedicate as much RAM as you can to Premiere Pro. I've got 48 gigabytes of RAM and I've just left 10 gigabytes reserved for other applications purely because I have a lot of RAM. But if you only have 16 or eight gigabytes of RAM, make your RAM reserved for other applications as low as possible so you have as much RAM as possible for all Adobe products. So then your performance will be a lot faster. As far as the Premiere Pro performance settings are concerned, you're pretty much good to go. So press OK. Now if you're editing on a Windows computer, I'm now going to show you the best graphic card settings for Premiere Pro. So start off by minimizing Premiere Pro, right click on your desktop and open up Nvidia Control Panel. Now go to your Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Make sure you have Use Advanced 3D Images. By default, it's set to let the 3D application decide. Do that and then press Take Me There. You now want to click on Program Settings and then you want to select your Adobe Premiere Pro. Now scroll all the way down until you get to Texture, Filter and Quality. You then want to change that to high performance. Your texture filtering, make sure that it's on and then your threaded optimization, put it on on. Scroll up a little bit until you see the open GL rendering GPU. Make sure you select it to your GPU. And finally, scroll up until you see CUDA GPUs and then make sure it says use global settings and then your NVIDIA is checked. Now just press apply and then you're good to go. Now for the last step in the Premiere Pro settings, whenever you create a new project, make sure you have your GPU acceleration CUDA selected and not your software only. And if you're on Mac, it's called Mercury Software. Make sure you have that and not the software only because if you use software only, your Premiere Pro is gonna run very slowly. So use GPU acceleration, press okay, and then you can start editing. Now, before I show you this final hack to make your timeline playback smooth every single time, we're gonna do a quick shout out to today's sponsors, Creators Club. So this is my clothing company, which is coming out in just a few weeks. But we're actually doing a pre-sale right now. It started a few days ago and it's ending in just two days. So hurry over to the Creative Club store. You can grab some awesome t-shirts. We've got charcoal, white and black. And we also have a Creators Club camera strap, which is absolutely amazing. So if that does look interesting to you, head over to creativesclub.store right now and use the promo code in the description of the video to get an awesome discount. You're never gonna get this discount ever again. So if you wanna grab some stuff early before the official release, then you can go ahead and do that now. So now let's go ahead and let me show you this timeline hack on Premiere Pro. There's actually two little hacks. So the first one is, as you can see straight off the bat, that we have a red, we have a yellow, and we have a green timeline. So not a lot of people actually know this, but there are three different sections to your timeline. If it's green, you're gonna get smooth playback. If it's yellow, you're gonna have a bit of buffering. It's gonna be a bit laggy. And if it's 
it's red, Premiere Pro doesn't like it whatsoever. So it's not gonna be rendered at all. You're gonna have a very laggy playback. So to fix this, all you have to do is set your in point with I and then set your out point with O. And then if you head over to sequence and then render into out, and then it will render it out. And as you can see already that we have uh, this entire section is now fully rendered. It's all green, so there's gonna be no issues. And if we actually just render out the entire video right now, we'll then see that it's completely green. And then I'm gonna zoom in. And now whenever I scrub through all of my footage, you can see that there's smooth playback every single time. It's not laggy whatsoever. Another hack I have for you is make sure you use adjustment layers whenever you're color grading your footage. So if we just remove this right here, here we have an adjustment layer. And then I put on my color grade right here. You can see that it's then color graded the entire clip. And if your timeline is laggy because you've added color corrections and color grades, then you can actually do this little hack where you can disable the entire clip. So you press this button right here or then disable disable it and it just disables that whenever you're editing and I actually put a shortcut on my keyboard with V so I can disable and enable the clip. So here you can see we have the text. If I press V, it disables it, it disappears, but it's still here. And then when I go to render it, I just have to reactivate it. And then it'll be very smooth playback whenever I'm previewing stuff. So those are two awesome hacks I have for you to make your playback even smoother. So now that I've shown you that, let's head over to the other camera to finish off the video. So those are the best tips to make Premiere Pro run smoother. I hope this video did help you out and increase your Premiere Pro performance. And if it did, do consider subscribing and liking the video if you haven't already. Don't forget, we currently have the Creative Club t-shirts and camera straps currently on pre-sale right now so you can get an exclusive discount in the description down below so go and check that out if you haven't already thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video